the next place for human life. So they make the decision to go to the surface of the planet. They land on the surface, and it's, it's all water. It's like a foot deep, though, for some reason. And the gravity is really strong. And they're looking around, looking around. They find the transmitter that was sending them the signal. And it's destroyed. It's haywire. The person who sent it <laughs> is nowhere to be found. And then they see this wave, a thousand feet tall. It's coming right at us. And they have to take off and get out of there. They lose, they lose someone on the planet. They're dead. And they go back out. It's been like 30 years of Earth's time. And the main character's mother or something is dead now. <laughs> and you might be thinking to yourself, where is he going with this? What does this have to do with the presentation? Slide. <laughs> nothing. <laughs> Today I'm here to teach you nothing. Um, yeah. A lot of CEOs, a lot of big business people today, they think they know it all. They think they know everything. What they don't realize is that nothing is a thing itself. It's a slide. <laughs> nothing is everything. You can't know everything if you don't also know nothing. And that in itself makes nothing a thing. Mm. Nothing is a concept. Next slide. Here's a picture of nothing. <laughs> <laughs> Look at the curves. What I like about this picture the most is that it leaves nothing to the imagination. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, so, next slide. Nothing is real. We've just seen it. <laughs> you know, nothing exists in math, the number zero. Nothing's out there in space. Nothing is there. It's just hard to wrap your head around. So now that we've accepted nothing, slide. I'd like you all to <laughs> look at this little kid here. <laughs> um, so, you know, when you're a kid, you don't know much. You, don't, you know next to nothing. And also, you're not too biased. You don't have too many stupid opinions that you will older people seem to have. <laughs> this is Carl Rove as a child, actually. <laughs> yeah. And so, I think there's value in that. You know, if we all knew a little less and were t less attached to these ideas that we've built up as we grow up, then maybe there would be more room for us to learn and less for us to be annoying. Yes. But, that's why nothing matters. <laughs> if you know nothing, you're more free to learn something. Next slide. Alright, this is a picture of clouds in the sky. And this is representative of this concept that I've been introduced to since I started meditating about six months ago. <laughs> and, um, okay. One of the main analogies in meditation is that your mind is like a sky. Clouds are kind of like the thoughts that pass by. Mm -hmm. And some days are cloudier, they're like dark and stormy. Some mm -hmm. days are a little lighter. And some days, it's just a blue sky. And the, the blue sky is kind of associated with this feeling of calm, this natural, calm energy. And that's the general state of mind. So the slide. So nothing comes easily. The natural state of mind is nothing and it's a sense of calm. And if we all had a little more of that, it would be good for us. And the other thing that that can help you with is change. <laughs> you know, change is a nuisance. Change happens even more and more as you get older, there's more and more change happening, and it's harder and harder to deal with. And, you know, it's hard to cope with change. Change is a big thing in your life as an adult. So next slide. But nothing ever changes. <laughs> nothing is always changing. <laughs> so you can have nothing. Then maybe it'll be...
it'll bring you closer to accepting change in your life. All right, next slide. So, what have we learned today? <laughs> you know, we all do a little less and listen a little more. Then maybe we would be less attached to these kind of ideas that make us act in ways that we don't want to act in conversations. And maybe we would be more willing to listen to criticism or make a positive change and less offended by those things. And maybe we can make a better team. I really think that together, uh, Tyler will really bring nothing to the world. <laughs> <laughs> and I think that together, nothing is impossible. So, thank you. Yay!